God they all let me down I always fought just to wear the crown I'm pissed off at these fucking clowns Who were all taught they deserve an ounce It's only worth it if you work for it It's only worth it if you work for it I won't stop till they hear me now I won't stop till I wear the crown Welcome back to the Cheeky Crypto Podcast. My name's Chris and it's fantastic to have you back with us for another video. And in today's video, we've got some huge news for XRP and, you know, some really big deals that Ripple are doing. Lots to uncover in this video. If you enjoy this sort of content, mash up the like button, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Tap in that bell, selecting all the notifications so you never miss a video. And don't forget to jump in the Discord. It's absolutely free to join. Link is in the description of this video. There's over 5,300 people supporting one another. Navigate this space safely. Really great to immerse yourselves in a fantastic community that are supporting one another. So definitely worth checking it out. And don't forget, we have partnered with Cornucopius. Uh, they are on the Cardano ecosystem. They're a play to earn game. And we have designed a race suit for their racing aspect of their game. Uh, the partnership mint will be sort of around the middle of December. So definitely jump in the discords of both Cornucopius and Cheeky Crypto to check it all out. Right, let's get down to the desktop. Okay, so we're going to start here and 119,000 XRP accounts have been created since November. The total number getting insane. Look, there's lots of people perhaps speculating that the price is going to pump when the result of the SEC lawsuit comes to an end. And uh, that could be, you know, in Q1 of 2023. So look, lots to, to be really, really excited about. Moving on, we've got 4.1 billion XRP moved from BitMEX within an hour with, you know, um, look, it, it's, it's just mad, right? So uh, let's get into this, right? So we've got seven transactions out of those 10 carried half a billion XRP each and each of the other two transferred like 300 uh, million by the looks of it. And um, look, these are just crazy numbers, right? So it adds up to a total of 4.1 billion XRP uh, in all. This, um, you know, basically is around $1.5 billion. So this came up in the whale alerts. We did sort of highlight this earlier it's just it's bonkers what is going on that is the question let us know your thoughts and opinions on what's happening there in the comments below ripple partners with jp morgan to conquer uae this is just monstrous news in my opinion i mean it's huge look um i think this is a really really big deal ripple's key partner in the uae has joined hands with jp morgan to facilitate instant currency transfers ripple is confident that its xrpl or ledger uh, can handle cbdc's and stablecoin transactions for billions of people worldwide and uh yeah look this is so so bullish and maybe you know this money being moved around is all kind of interlinked who knows let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. We've got Pro XRP Lawyer says that Gary Gensler could trigger another 50% crypto market crash. This guy is an absolute imbecile. Like the SEC are supposed to be here to protect retail investors, and all they seem to do is cause more and more damage. You see this, like they're supposed to have had oversight over FTX. I mean, it's absolutely ludicrous. You know, they have the case with Ripple. Uh, I just think that they're just terrible, terrible people, to, to be honest. Uh, I'm not going to dig into this just because it pisses me off. Um, I will drop all of these in the uh, Discord for you to read through at your leisure. But look, you know, this guy is, is just not good for crypto, in my opinion. Then we've got the XRP community reacting to Michael Saylor's comments uh, on the Ripple lawsuit. He's basically come out and said that... 
you know, the SEC should shut down Ripple and claims that, you know, XRP and ETH are basically unregistered securities. Look, take what this guy says with a pinch of salt. He hasn't, you know, in my opinion, got like the best track record of investing, you know, throughout his career, right? Like dig into this guy, like who cares what he says? His opinion, you know, means very, very little. Yes, he has a lot of uh, Bitcoin, but ultimately a lot of that is probably leveraged and he's likely to, you know, end up coming unstuck. So look, this guy, who cares what he thinks? You know, that, that's, that's it. Like, let me know your thoughts and opinions. Do you give a rat's ass what this guy thinks and what he says? Because ultimately it's not his decision. You know, I do see lots of um, comments that, you know, Ripple are going to lose the case and the SEC are going to win. Look, let's see it all play out. Let's see where we, we land. I think it's wide open personally. Uh, I've always kind of said that I expect there to, to be a settlement, but we will know come, you know, the end of Q1, I believe. I don't think we're that far out. So let's see how things go. Really exciting with Flair and everything that's kicking off there as well. Uh, let me know your thoughts and opinions on everything XRP and Ripple in the comments below. Really interested to read through your comments. If you enjoy this sort of content, mash up the like button, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already, tap in that bell, selecting all the notifications so you never miss a video and I will catch you in the next one. Take care. <laughs>